Thank you, Mr. Mayor. Um, I have to admit this particular topic has caused me many sleepless nights uh, since I first heard about it. Um, a bit of history. I moved to Wickford in 1974. At that time, I was living in a village approximately half the size of Wickford called Larkfield, which is on the outskirts of Maidstone. I could have re relocated to anywhere in the country, uh, but after visiting many other places for over three months, I suppose, I chose Wickford for three main reasons. Firstly, it had its own train station with a direct, relatively short journey time straight into the centre of London. Secondly, it sort of reminded me a lot of where I had been living in Larkfield, which was a very peaceful, open, rural area with some great local pubs, plus easy shopping. Lastly, it had what I called then potential. Uh, I was unaware at that time that my interpretation of the word potential would become completely different to that of the council or of the future property developers, developers that were going to get involved. You got to Wickford at that time coming from London by turning off the A127 and following a small country road which had mainly fields on both sides plus one or two cottages dotted around. Eventually you arrived at a crossroads called Hall's Corner. Everything around you had a feeling of space, its own time and a positive energy. If someone had said to me at that time, in 40 years from now, the people of this town will be doing everything in their power to save one very small scrap of open land, which will be known as Wick Green, I would have thought they had probably spent too long in one of their great local pubs. In 1970, an American singer called Joni Mitchell wrote a song called Big Yellow Taxi. The lyrics included the lines, they took all the trees and put them in a tree museum. Then they paved paradise and put up a parking lot. Perhaps she knew something back then on the way Wickford was heading. So now we're looking at the town council and for some reason... I'm, I'm glad we've got back to that councillor home and you've been yeah. entertaining me Intensely, but if we can stick to the town council moving forward, it'd be much appreciated. Thank certainly, you. Certainly, Mr. Mayor, and thank you for the guidance. For some reason, when I think of a town council, Scotland, Wales, and Northern Ireland come to mind. We are now supposed to address these regions of Great Britain as countries as a result of devolution. Comparing the before and after, has devolution really made that much difference to any of these countries, apart from making them more hostile towards England? Are they now operating totally independent, defining their own futures, or are they simply working within the, de the defined parameters in which they are being allowed to operate in? So can we draw any parallels between these now devolved countries and the proposed inauguration of a Wickford Town Council. If in say two years from now, Basel and Council wanted to reproduce a replica of the multi-story skyscrapers they are proposing for their own town centre, but now for Wickford, would the newly formed Town Council be able to stop them? In fact, if any major substantial changes were to be imposed on Wickford by Council or Government, at any point in the future. How could we amend this through a town council to stop it happening? Because of these concerns and many more unanswered questions, I'm afraid on this occasion, I will have to abstain. However, that is not to say that I may change my mind in the future if I can see any positive advantages for all the people of Wickford in taking this course of action. Thank you, Mr. Mayor. And thank you, Councillor Holliman. 